Hello everyone, I am Pramod and welcome to my Cricket Turf. So in today's session we are going to understand what are the basics of a stance. So if you see, in, a, in the crease, if this is the crease, you will make sure that one foot is inside the crease and one outside the crease. And as you can see the stump is right behind you. So the first thing is the crease should run between your legs okay that is number one how do you stand you have to make sure both your feet are in line firstly this alignment would be with your guard so if you are taking a center guard this line would just touch through your would just touch your toes okay so you can always you know draw a good thick line to mark your guard and make sure both your feet are touching the line now the next thing would be the position of your feet how wide and how close it should be basically it should be shoulder width apart or slightly bigger than the shoulder not too wide not too close it should be shoulder width apart or you have one more option of being it slightly away from the shoulder by doing that by increasing or going beyond your shoulder width you can improve the balance slightly that's the only reason otherwise the basics would say have it shoulder width apart to increase if you are a tall batsman you can slightly make it a big big base by improving the by increasing the width of your stance okay, after understanding the position of the feet now we'll understand how your hip and your shoulder should be aligned making sure your feet your hip and your shoulder are in one line and it is pointing towards the other end stump yeah so the the other end there will be a stump because the bowler might come over the wicket or around the wicket you cannot be facing the bowler because that might open up open up your stance you have to be at a neutral stance so the best neutral stance would be in line with the other stump so what are the things that we are going to align the feet the hip the hip so your hip should not be open like this or close like this and the shoulder shoulder should be aligned like this not open neither close the most important part of batting is the head it is very important that we keep our head in the right position right from our stance which is the beginning of any shot right when you when you take your stance that is where you are ready to go if your head is not at the right position your shot making will always be affected so let us understand how and where the head should be we are talking about the head position it is important that once you make sure your feet, your hip and shoulder are aligned, your head is always slightly towards your front toe basically. Where the head should be, it should be just slightly in front. The reason is the balance. When the head is slightly forward, we already have a bat which is counterbalancing. So if you have your head somewhere here, that means there's a lot of weight on the back foot. At the end, we have to make sure that the weight is on the balls of the feet of either leg. The, the weight is balanced and are on the balls of the feet. And that's the reason I'm saying when you keep your head forward and if, if the head is in line with your front toe, it, it makes sure that your, your weight is slightly forward right on the balls of the feet. Not on the toes, neither on the heels. It should be on the balls of the feet. So in a stance, make sure that your head is straight. If your head is straight, your eyes are level. And when the eyes are level, you are watching the ball closer with no hindrance whatsoever. Basically, you have to just make sure that your eyes are level, not this side or too much on the other side, which will affect your vision or your prediction of the ball. 